how to progress in calisthenics fast. But before I begin, be sure to hit that subscribe button and press the like button to boost up the algorithm so more people can learn more skills and better their calisthenics much faster. It's a teamwork thing. Well, the first one is to prioritize on the basics. What I normally do is to focus on these three exercises, especially for calisthenics. The first basic is the pull-ups. Okay, so pull-ups, king of all pulling exercises. Next one is dips, so parallel dips or straight bar dips, both work. And the third exercise is push-ups. So these three foundations are what you should practice on a weekly basis, and this will build up the legs of the table. For example, right, think of this hypothesis. So you've got a table, and you've got four legs for them to stand. You've got to get all four legs to be super strong so then you'll be able to have a conditioned muscles, especially in the ligaments, in a joint, for you to progress faster onto more advanced skills such as the muscle up, the handstand, the front lever, and so on. So if you were to compare person A who focuses on the basics along with working for a skill or person B who just trains for the skill, I guarantee you that the person A who does the basics, so your pull-ups, dips and push-ups will progress much more faster, I guarantee you. If you've got strong muscles, right, your body will be conditioned for the extreme movements such as, you know, the transition of the pull-up into the dip for the muscle-up, or your shoulders will be strong enough to be able to hold yourself upside down for the handstand. So the number one priority is to focus on the basics. Me, all the time, I still work on the basics, even to this day. This day, to this day, to this day two to three times a week just to keep my muscles nice and strong and conditioned the second one is to prioritize on what skill you want to achieve first now i understand that you know there are many calisthenic skills out there and you want them all okay planche front lever muscle up back lever handstand handstand push-up etc etc so i would say when structuring this you want to prioritize the two skills that you want to work on the most at the start of every single session. So at one point, I was working on the one arm handstand. Okay, I would work on the one arm handstand at the beginning of every single session for 20 minutes. Because of that priority, I was able to unlock it within the space of eight months. So whether this will be front lever for you, back lever, put it at the front of your training session, and then all the other things that comes with the training, I'll put it at the back, okay? So prioritize the skill that you want to achieve first. Do that right at the start and you'll be good. And a third secret is rest. Bro, you have no idea how important this is. As a classic saying goes that you grow as you rest. So I made a mistake of training pretty much six days a week with no rest. And this could be taxing to your body and especially your mind. The mind is the one that you need to really watch out for because once you become fatigued, you become mentally tired, the following sessions in the week, it will just be ineffective. So prioritizing rest. So I like to do a split of upper body, lower body, then I'd rest. Now everyone's different, so you can find whatever you know suits you best. But I would say allow yourself two days a week of just doing nothing. Well, in those sessions where you're doing nothing, you'd stretch, mobilize, release all the stiffness that is accumulated from your training throughout the training period. So prioritize on rest. You grow as you rest. And the fourth one is protein intake. Now, I have definitely witnessed this firsthand. I was doing a weighted calisthenic session, and I remember that day, I really didn't prioritize some protein. I'd just go home, eat my rice, eat a little bit of chicken, eat a little bit of vegetables, and the next few days, I was sore as hell. And then I thought, okay, cool, lesson learned. The next session, I'm gonna go in hard, okay? I'm gonna consume even more protein, three times the amount. And when I woke up the next morning and the following day, the DOM, so delayed onset of muscle soreness, was literally like significantly cut in half. I feel I was less stiff. Yes, obviously your muscles will get stronger, but I really, really do believe that you know, the building blocks of amino acids that will help to your muscles to recover and grow definitely plays a big role in recovery. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you do enjoy it, please don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below what you think about this video and of course hit the subscribe button as you'll be notified for more videos like this one thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video